I'm Alex Steiner alongside Jake Brandt, Katie Hale on ice level. Our entire Midwest Center excited that you're along for the ride for this one. Hoff paired up again tonight with Mark Sendon and Cole Smith. Here comes Colin Adams now. Leaving it. And he gets North Dakota on the board, but look at this real heads up play. The patience by Adams to allow uh, Rhett Gardner to get into that spot right in the slot there where he's open and he doesn't waste any time on settling that puck down and getting it lying down pretty. He just one times that in and a big goal for North Dakota. Oh, right back the other way, shield back to back saves. Still loose in front, trickle right across the crease and rolls away from goal. Until you get that first goal, it, they become that much more difficult to get. I don't know if you grip the stick or you think about things. Well, here's that Kirsten now. Rich shot off the pipe. And up and out of play for the sophomore defenseman. Pass here. Luckily, a good bounce for UND, and it's a 2 on 2 Adams over to Nick Jones. Back to the sophomore forward. Putting one in front to Jones. Dover, and it gets into the back of the net. Jack Barry unable to corral it. And it's Dan Dreger, you could see a moment ago, sort of motioning his elbow. I'm not sure if they're looking at goaltender interference on this with Jones, if that's an issue, as Nick skates through the crease. He's pushed in right yeah, there. There's that, just nothing probably there. probably not even. Barry, to go down and cover that, you're going to see it squirts in right underneath his blocker. So that means you, he didn't even have his catching glove over to smother that. Wave off. We're going to find out in the next two seconds. And it wow. is no goal. Wow. I'm speechless on John Hines, the job he's done and coming from the college ranks, now the New Jersey Devil coach, so no doubt good stuff. Good hockey coaches, no matter the way, is Jacob Burnett, that cover, finds the back of the net for his first time in a UMD uniform. He's going to score his first college goal, he's a steady guy right on that back blue line, you're going to watch him make a real good play here, he gets a little bit of a puck luck bounce, but what he does, he does that little head fake. You saw that out of Pullman last week and against the Gophers. It's that head fake, that little bit of that quick twitch. He gets Gorniak to kind of bite on it, slides by him, and labels that one top blocker. 1.0 goals against average with a .952 save percentage. Those are just ridiculous numbers. Tyler in a moto, the shot from the point, knocked down in front. Second opportunity for Max Zimmer. He gets covered up by Gardner. 32 seconds left. Inamoto once again, Shields seeing it all the way, will hang on. Played by the NCHC the last couple of seasons. I think the Big Ten had a shot last year with Red Gardner. out they're gonna start coming in bunches here Pullman's just gonna wrap this up to no one it just takes an unfortunate bounce you see some goaltender complaining that Janet Tweenan was in front of the net kind of in the crease area the goaltender was barking right away again he's taking into the net there's nothing there uh, it, again uh, this should be a quick review it seems like they review everything nowadays but I think if you're Dan Drager this should be a very very quick review I thought he was pushed in. Here's the call. Good goal. A much quicker review here on this particular goal. And you, you said it. You hit it right on the nail of the head. Right. Played left. And they are now two for two tonight. On the PK is going. Comes out of the box. The Badgers, though, still threatening. Good wow. save by Sheila. Wow. Reaction save. Tarek. Colin Adams, good hold up play there. Getting it to Shaw. Diagonal to Pullman, who puts one in. And it trickles across. Well, this is a little bit of puck luck. Watch this saucer pass by Hayden Shaw. That's some serious sauce right there. Almost too much sauce he's thrown out there, and that one's just a fortunate bounce for Colton Pullman. And an unfortunate bounce for Jack Berry. Sometimes when things aren't going your way, that just hits right off a of tish key and goes right in the net. And as a goaltender, we've all been there. Gating in! That was straight off the left post, no doubt about it. The music comes on. <laughs> but certainly not a goal. They don't even need to review this one. 
The re he agreed. He said he is, he's the real deal. Another face-off win for Gardner. And a hat trick for number 22! The one-point blast for Rhett! 5-0 UND! But again, look at he goes into the areas and he lets that go. You always tell the shooters or the players, if you want to score goals, you got to go to the areas where you're going to get the puck, and you got to be able to get goaltenders to move east west, and you got to be able to one time pucks. Two goals tonight, Rhett Gardner, he finds himself right into the area, one times pucks, and the other one, he just went to the front of the net. He sensed the goaltender was going to be out of position. He just turned around and slung it in. Here you get something on the power play, gain a little bit of momentum, maybe make it 5 2 with Shield, makes another save, point blank. Emerson, that, or excuse me, Gorniak had the opportunity at the top of the crease. And again, the freshman from Cleveland's coming up big. Big event last week, a big win for UND, and another big one tonight. As the final seconds tick down, 5-0 is your final. North Dakota, your winner in game one. Adam Shield gets his first career shutout in a UND uniform.